You're listening to the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, home of the number one sports talk show on the planet, The Doug Stewart Show. This is the revolution in radio, the realest, trillest sports talk show in America, The Doug Stewart Show. This is sports talk for the people. The Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Real talk, real radio, real people, just like you. Yes! Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows and music, Watch your videos and view all of your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? The mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's BV, B as in victory, mobileapps.com, and tell them Doug Stewart sent you. Yes, sir. We're doing some huge things here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, home of the Doug Stewart Show, and the biggest thing being broadcasting other shows. That's right. We're executive producing other shows and playing them on my network. You may have a fantastic show or podcast, but do you have a listeners? We got listeners, over 9,000 followers to the Doug Stewart Show on the Spreaker platform, as well as over 200,000 plus listens to the network itself. So here's what you do. Go to Fiverr.com, that's Fiverr.com, and search the Doug Stewart Show or Stewart Media and Entertainment and get all the details. Or just hit up the producer, Tree, at Tree at the Doug Stewart Show.com. That's spelled T-R-E-I. Tree at the Doug Stewart Show.com and come and do business with us on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yes! Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's STU for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code STU, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code STU. This is what it is, okay? You know what it is. You have to do the right thing. You have to go home to the family, you understand? I'm not saying you got to go back there this minute, but you got to go back. The bad boys of radio are back. If you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping. Fresh off the plizzing. You know my dang name. You cheating some of my... Look, man, I'm all excited over here, and you look like you scared. Boy, stop. <laughs> he ain't never scared. Stupendous Saturdays with the two live stews. Grab your biscuits and coffee, boys and girls, because it's game time. If you're not stewing, what in the hell are you doing? I mean, if I'm a professional offensive tackle, as skilled as that young man is, him having that, that gimp hand of his? He doesn't have a gimp hand. Oh, he has a gimp hand. He sir. lost a finger. I he really lost a I, finger, I, I really... a portion of another finger, and a portion of another finger. But that... That's a gimp. If you grab a, a body that's 250 pounds, 260 pounds, with that gimp hand, and you start pulling. Stop saying that. I mean, that I, is so politically incorrect. I, I don't think gimp, gimp? gimp is politically correct in 2000. Stop it. Wait, first of all, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. The <laughs> gimp. All right. Yo, this young yo, man, yo, yo, yep. this young man wasn't born with a handicap, a, a deficiency in his hand. That's okay? right. He did it to himself. This dumbass blew fireworks off in his hand. Okay, so I have every bit of right. I deserve to exercise the Fifth Amendment right I have to call this dumb ass a gimp. That's not the Fifth Amendment, first of all. It's not. It's right. not. The Seventh. And you, 
And you look six and two options, it's not even the seventh. It's none of the amendments is, 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 is the right to call somebody a gimp. Second. And I know I know you didn't pay attention in history class in elementary school, but it's none. Sure. I can promise you that. Stupendous Saturday to you, Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, the two live stews on 640 WGST. Yeah, yeah. As well as iHeartRadio, the most unpolitically correct show in America. And for the record, I am on Periscope <laughs> at One Live Stew. If you want to check me out at One Live Stew, all social media outlets, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything at One Live Stew. What's up, man? Man, how you doing? This is my favorite week of the year. Why is this your favorite week of the year? Um, because I mean, there's a lot of great weeks in the year. Why yeah. this? Uh, why is this particularly your 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 favorite week? In I'm the year? a very thankful person. Uh huh. I thank God a lot all day long. Right. So this week of Thanksgiving is like my uh, week. And I knew you were going to say that. But this is my week. Technically, this is next week yet. We're still in the in this week. Well, but this is the Saturday prior to this week. Okay. Yeah. All right. So so. Going into this week, it's my favorite week. Right, right. And uh, the kids will be off all week long. I don't know when they started doing that, but they don't have school all week. Mama coming to town. My wife is off all week long, and my mom's coming to town. So you know what that means, right? Actually, it's my mother, too. But, but And actually, she was my mother before she was your mother. But do you know what this means? What does this mean? If right? everybody's off from work and coming into town to celebrate, that means I'm going out of town. <laughs> Wait a minute, what do you right mean? Right on time, Walter. And you're listening to the two live students. What do you mean? Hey, man, I got babysitters in place. I'm out. You're not, you're not going out of town. You mean you're going to be out. You're going to have the ability to go out and play golf and stuff now. I mean, you understand the words coming out of my mouth? Why would you go out of town on Thanksgiving week? Well, not the whole week, but the kids are off all week. My right. wife's off all week. Right. So Monday and Tuesday, they can do it without daddy, right? Right. All right. I'm going to find somebody golf course, man. Oh, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. I'm gone. I agree with you. I'm gone. I'm with you. I'm out of this. Biatch! Now, we're going to do the Doug Stewart Show, which is the DougStewartShow.com, Monday and Tuesday. But, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I am out. Golf? I hadn't played golf in so damn long. Hey, you better get it together because we got a major coming up real soon. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? You might need to explain that to people. Um, our little immediate golf group, there's about 12 to 15 of us um, that play golf together three or four times a year. And um, the immediate group, we call it a major between us four or five homeboys. Mm-hmm. And we've got a, a trophy and all right. that we play four times a year. And the winner gets to keep that trophy and put their name on that actual trophy. And we do one major per quarter for the homeboys. Right. So um, we have a major coming up, like right around the corner, <laughs> that you're not going to be prepared for. <laughs> it's just so funny to hear you talk about our little golf thing in terms of a major. It is. Like, like we shoot, you know, above 80. Or below 80. It's not important to get into the numbers. Like, what are our average scores, you think, between uh, us all? 95. <laughs> <laughs> but, again, it's 8 to 10 guys right. that all shoot 95. Right, it's competitive. Yeah, so if I get a 90 one day and you got a 92... I'm better than you. I get to talk trash until we play again. You are listening to the two live shoes, Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, 640 WGST, as well as iHeartRadio. Thank you so much for joining your boys. Stupendous Saturday to you, man. What we got coming up for you today? Ten the stew way. I like can, that. Can we get a little applause for Ten the stew way? I like that. Uh, I like that a lot. Hey, 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 all right, there we go. There we go. Real good, Walter. Real good. Ten the stew way. Where we talk about the ten biggest stories from this past week. Real kind of like rapid action type style, as well as the funky four to four biggest games in football. Two college and two pro. We'll hit that today. The fastest hour in sports, bar none. Shouts out to Bruce Hagen, attorney at law. What Hagen up, Bruce Hagen? Law.com. Personal injury is all that they do. And he's got over 30 years of experience. So you don't want to go to a plumber and ask them to come fix your heart. Right. You don't want to go to a dentist and ask him to check out your retinas. <laughs> exactly. You want to go to a Injury lawyer that deals with injury, and that is our guy, Bruce Hagen. Appreciate you, Bruce. Hagen-law.com. He spells it H-A-G-A-N-law.com. Very interesting week, man, um, for the Doug Stewart Show. We went out with a bang yesterday. Asked somebody about what happened yesterday on the Doug Stewart Show. Check us out, man, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, thedougstewartshow.com online. 
It's it's fun. It's 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 the two eye stews minus one stew. The other stew is a is a soccer dad. He's a karate dad. Uh, he plays golf. He's a professional uh, wannabe golf player. So it's, it's one stew, if, if, and one stew is better than no stew. If I didn't know any better, I would think that you were taking a shot at me. <laughs> no, I'm not. Now. No, I'm not. Every time I look on Facebook, you at soccer practice, you at karate practice, yeah, teaching your boys to kick ass. These kids is all I got, man. They all I got. They are, man. And they're, and they're fantastic. You know, God has blessed me to really be able to be a soccer dad, man. And I'm thankful for yeah, that, man. Yeah, yeah, This old bad body of mine, I'm thankful for that. You got the frat hat on, man. Shouts out to the bros of Omega Psi Pi <laughs> Fraternity Incorporated this past week. We celebrated our 104th anniversary. Happy Founders Day to the bros. Did you do anything Wednesday night? Was that Wednesday night or Tuesday night? My LBs called me about 12 o'clock on Founders Day. Uh-huh. And was like, hey, man, I'm getting out of work. It's Founders Day. We should be together. And I said, you know what? That's I, live. I'll do whatever I need to do. Right. And then another LB chimed in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. And by the, by by 2 o'clock, we were on somebody's golf course, man, enjoying some spirits and smoking cigars and just telling lies like bros do when they get together. I went to the uh, rededication program they had at Morehouse. Mm-hmm. And it was fantastic. And afterwards, the bros went to this little spot downtown. And this is the first time this ever happened to me. And you're listening to the two last twos. I went down to, to do what I normally do, and I usually get real slizzard. Um, I really, 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 you know, go for it mm-hmm. on Founders Night, yeah. man. And uh, I went down there, man, and it took me 30 minutes to find a parking space. And I never found a parking space. And I says, man, freak it, I can't cope. I'm I went home. home. Yep. I went home. Yep. Yep. And I thought I'd never see that day in my life, yep. man. But when you get old, yeah, you get impatient. And, and listen, you're not old. And you, then they had a line coming out of no, the door, too. I was like, oh, no, man, I, I can't do, do it. I don't do that. I don't do that. I haven't done lines in years. Listen, listen, here's the deal. And I kind of got like a pass on Founders Day night right. from the old lady. Right. She knows that I'm coming home real late. I'm going to be slizzard. I'm going to, you know, I've had a good time. But she gives me a pass, not, and I didn't even take it. I'm not bougie by any means, but for the last 15 to 20 years, if I'm trying to go inside of an establishment that has a line, I just slowly, gingerly walk past the line and stand in front of the front door and hope somebody <laughs> says, hey, Stu, right. who you with, man? Come on in. Hopefully somebody recognizes you. There's been a few times where I've stood at that door for about eight to ten minutes, and I realize I need to take my ass home. Yeah. I'm not going any place today. We, if I'm not invited in without passing this line, I'm not going. We got a question in Tim the Stu way talking about the frat, man. But shouts out to the Q's once again. Uh, all over this great world. The good bruh. Shouts out hey, to the good bruh. When you get older, man, it's funny how things change. Oh, yeah. And how you could just care a whole lot less about a lot of things you had a lot of care about <laughs> prior you, to being old. You've been there and done that. been there and done that, man. You've been there yeah. and done that. Uh, Founders Day with my LBs and some cold spirits was more than enough for me to take it on to the house. Right. I'm good. Yeah, you're right. I'm 42 years old, man. My kids wake up at 5 to 5.30 every morning. I don't need to be no place doing nothing else. I need to be home, man. You know, Ricky Smiley, shouts out to the Q, Ricky Smiley as well. Got his own radio show. He has this thing yearly. Radio, TV. Called the the Big Ass Face Awards. You know who got a big face? Who? Ezekiel Elliott. (laughs) He just flashed across the screen just now. The running back for the Ohio State Buckeyes. He got a hog head, man. You got a hog in. Hey, man, can we please talk about Ronda Rousey, please? We're going to talk about Ronda Rousey. We talked about it last week. Mm-hmm. We called it last week. Yep. So that's going to be one of the things we hit in the 10, the stew way, coming up next with the two live stew. Stupendous Saturday to you. Don't go away. <laughs> Fantasy sports fans are winning huge cash prizes every day at DraftKings.com, America's favorite place to play daily fantasy sports. Daily fantasy means no season-long commitments. Play whenever you want. Just pick your sport and draft your team. It's like a new season every time you play, so you're never stuck with the same players. Last year, $300 million were won at DraftKings.com, and you could be next to win big. Go to DraftKings.com now and enter promo code STU to play for free. That's Stu for free entry now at DraftKings.com. Also, if you use promo code Stu, DraftKings will match your initial deposit up to $600. Deposit $600, play with $1,200. DraftKings.com, promo code Stu. The best of the Doug Stewart Show. Uh, Let me read more of this chat before I get out of here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, my man K3000. Uh, Yeah. If you're new to the show, K3000 
He's kind of long-winded. We love him, though. <laughs> so I see, I guess this is why Tree's playing this music in the background. Uh, he says, Dougie, I feel you. People love making fun of people when they get caught doing something semi-wrong. Uh, like receiving extra like free shrimp. But they don't realize that a lot of these guys are effing starving. And that they're effing restricted from ever even singing, signing their name for gain. Uh, you give me a damn scholarship and I'm supposed to sign over all my damn rights. All my money making potential. And if I don't comply, then you blackball me so that I can't make it to the next level to actually receive a check. GTFOH, he did a bunch of GTFOHs. CSI, this, see, this is the ish. <laughs> I'm pissed off about two. That's like dude from Ohio State that actually went to court to get the rule changed and then got blackballed and lost that life. GTFOH, a lot of them. I'm totally with you, Dougie. I'm totally with you. Thank you, K3000. I'm with me, too. <laughs> At Ticket Liquidator, we believe you should have access to the experiences you want to be a part of. Since 2003, Ticket Liquidator has been connecting buyers and sellers with the most sought after and often sold out events across the country. Ticket Liquidator's nationwide network is you access to one of the largest online inventories of sports, theater, and concert tickets with prices lower than most companies in other markets. And our security policies are solid, so you can buy with absolute confidence. More tickets, better service, and lower prices. So you can witness the best entertainment, culture, and sports events worldwide. At Ticket Liquidator, we know that seeing a legend bring down the house or watching your team win the championship is about more than a ticket. It's about being there. For all your sports and entertainment ticket needs, call us at 855-638-3034. Again, that's 855-638-3034. The world's heavyweight champions of sports and guy talk radio. This is the two live shoes, Doug Stewart, Ryan Stewart, 640 WGST, as well as iHeartRadio. Yeah, yeah. Man, Walter went deep back into the craze just now. He's digging. He's digging deep. You know, Walter's from Atlanta. He's the uh, engineer to the show. He's from Atlanta. So you hear this type of bass type track or whatever. That's how he do it. No matter what your special occasion might be, we can provide the perfect desserts to complement any event. We have delivered cakes for birthday parties, holiday parties, office parties, and many more special occasions. Any event will be much improved with the addition of a gourmet cake, and we can make certain that you have a wonderful cake at that event. I'm talking about the great people at Piece of Cake. Piece of Cake, Shawty. Piece of Cake, Inc. .com. I sent a friend a, a, a cake for, for uh, her birthday this past week. Um, people thought I was crazy when I did so, but they freeze it, then they send it today. By the time it gets there, it's still fine and fresh. It's unscathed, and uh, she absolutely loved it. So, shout out to the good folks at Piece of Cake. Hey, uh, would you like to advertise with the two live studios? You can do that, as well as the DougStewartShow.com. All you got to do is email me at Doug at the DougStewartShow.com. Let's do some business. Uh, let's get to this running roster stuff, please, man. Yeah, man. Tend the stewway. You know I'm a Western fan, right? I do. Hey, man. Um, incredible week in sports. No other way to say it, sir. Ronda Rousey got her bunky kicked this past weekend. And I did say bunky. Bunky is a low country term. <laughs> if you've never heard that before. Now, there seems to be a push to be kind of easy on her by the media. I don't know about that. Have you been clowning Ronda Rousey this week that got destroyed, knocked the F out by Holly Holm this past weekend? I have not clowned her at all. You haven't. However, uh -huh. I am clowning <laughs> All of the apologists that are now trying to bump for her, getting her tail whooped. Yeah. The same people that made her the hype that she was, because it was hype. It was are, hype. Are now trying we to talked be, about this last week. Last Saturday, man, all I said was, this chick has had 12 fights. I probably shouldn't say that. This female has had 12. That's not politically correct. I mean, chick is I. Right. We say dudes. This, broad, this broad only had 12 oh, fights. Hey, now, now, broad is taking over the line. Too much? Seriously. Okay, okay. I mean, you were good with chick because she, a good comparison is dude for she, guys. She only had 12 fights, and y'all are trying to sell her to me like she's Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. 
Sugar Ray Leonard? She could beat Floyd Mayweather. Oh, she could beat her. <laughs> hey, okay. man. So, look, man, Um, after that UFC 193, which is the fight that it was, now she can't fight for 180 days because she got beat so bad. Wow. She can't even spar and have physical fighting contact for the next 45 days. Right. She can't do nothing now. And I did some research. Apparently, every time they get knocked out by TKO, they're all out for six months. Wow. They can't fight again for six months. Yeah. Which is why they try to not get knocked out, or they will, they'll they submit sometimes that they're being held down. Right. Uh, I didn't clown around the man, but I clown everybody that's, that's, that's the apologist for her. Yeah. Um, this is a quote from her former trainer. He says when She says, when you make a, a comment like, I can beat everyone in my division with one arm tied behind my back, I guess you should kind of expect that kind of backlash. And she's getting just that, man, backlash. In America, I don't know how they do it in other places. In America, <laughs> when you talk trash and you get your bunky kick, mm-hmm. what we do is we clown you. Yes. That's what we do in yes. this country. Yes. And, man, she deserves to get clowned, man. Uh, and you're right. She had 12 fights. You 12. know how many boxers started their career 12-0? 12 and 12 0? 0? All Thousands. of them. Thousands. All of them. Thousands. Everybody. So why was this such a big deal and why um, was she made such this media just giant? Um... Peep the video of her family when she's getting knocked out. Right. It's sad, man. It's absolutely sad. And shame on her for not shaking Holly's hand or touching gloves before they started fighting. That's part of it. She deserved to get beat down. Question number two and ten, the stewway. Peyton Manning couldn't hit the backside of a bar last weekend and was benched by the Broncos. Is this the end of the NFL great, or will he get re-energized with time off and help the Broncos later this season on a run to a Super Bowl? This same show right here. About two months ago. And you're listening to the two live stews. I said they need to sit him and bring in the backup so the backup can get some experience. And the backup is Brock Osweiler. And when I told you that, you're like, sit Peyton Manning, you're crazy. You you get you got on my you, you got on my back. But Peyton was playing terrible football. He looked bad and I knew if he was this bad to start the season, there's no way he's gonna make it through the season. And I figured the backup should get some reps. Well, guess what? The backup's not a starter. And if he performs like I think he might, Peyton's done. He's not going to touch the field no more. Wow. Uh, he finished the day last week with 35 yards on 5 of 20 passing, zero touchdowns, four interceptions, two sacks, and almost unheard of zero passer rating. They're going to sit him down for a couple of weeks, but I can't see a scenario where if they make it to the playoffs, which they should, they got a great defense. If they make it to the playoffs and he sat for three, four weeks, that they don't bring Peyton Manning back in over Brock Osweiler. This He's going to be back in there for that team. If this kid can pull his jock strap up and not throw the ball to the wrong team, He's the starter from here on out. Let me tell you something real quick. Now, you played in the league, so you probably have a better perspective of this. Peyton was throwing ducks, man. His ball, you, his, every ball was a floater from Peyton Manning this year. Keep in mind this right here. Brock Osweiler has been managing the first team offense once a week for a day all season. Mm. So, even they knew. They saw it coming. Even they knew this was about to happen, man, because Peyton Manning is a guy that doesn't give up reps in practice. He's been giving up a whole day all week. All year. So you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show and the Ryan Stewart Show, the two live students. That's the first time you've done that. Right here on 640 WGST. Uh, Greg Hardy beat a domestic violence case, fought with his new teammates, slapped the notepad out of his coach's hand for the Cowboys. Now he reportedly showed up late for a team meeting. Ryan, will he finish the season on the Dallas Cowboys roster? Not only will he finish the season, he's going to be re-inked to more money next season. And... I'm not bumping for Greg Hardy or for Jerry Jones and their actions, but in five games played, he's got four sacks, one interception, one forced fumble, and one pass deflection. I want him on my team. If the Cowboys let him go and shake him down and the the, the judicial system says he can play, take your butt to Oakland and play for us. You're listening to the two last two. Here's the thing, though. He's unstable. Everything you just said about the guy you want on the field with you, mm-hmm. helping you win games, right. I get it. I mm-hmm. totally get it. Mm-hmm. But he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna ruin it for himself. Okay. He's not mentally there, man. Right. For you to do all the things that this guy has done over the last month or so when he joined the team, and, and you to come late to a team meeting, which if you played football, you know that's big, you that. especially in the NFL. I mean, not for not, him to do that like, uh, says that he is not all the way there. If you walk into the meeting 15 seconds yes. after the coach stops, right. it's a huge problem. And once again, you play in the NFL, right. so you have a great perspective so, on this. So listen to this, man. Unfortunately, Doug, the majority of the guys that play his position 
are probably mentally unstable. They just handle it better. <laughs> they just handle it better. Right. They just handle it better. I got a $2 bet with my boy Patriot, one of the bros, that he won't finish. And Patriot's a big Cowboy fan. Yeah. He won't finish no. the season because yeah. some way he's going to get suspended by the team no. or by the league because he's going to do something stupid. No. Yeah, he, I, he, I'll bet you a dollar. He's been the same person that he's been his entire life. And he's played five or six years in this league. Yeah, he's been unstable from day one. More of 10 to Stu A. The Packers have lost three in a row since Mike Dicker wore a Green Bay oh, jersey stop it. for a TV commercial. Man, stop it. Fair or foul, the Bears coaching legend wearing the rival's jersey for profit. It's the uh, the game time commercials that McDonald's have. The game uh, the, the, the game time gold commercials. Right. Jerry Rice is in a Cowboys uniform. Dick is in a Packers uniform or a Packers sweater. Wait a minute, but where, you're not even a fan of the, the 49ers or the Bears. Were you not offended by that? Like you didn't you didn't care. You didn't feel kind of like dirty watching that? Not at all, man. Let these cats get their bread, man. Get their money. But Let they mean money, so man. much to their organizations. It doesn't seem right. Jay Rice hadn't played in 10 years. Dick had played in 50. Why are you holding on to when he was a Chicago Bear? Go ahead. Why are you holding on to that, man? Go ahead with your thought, man. That ain't no big deal at all, man. But I tell you this much, the problem for the Packers are the inconsistent play by the offensive line. Uh, there's no wide receiver core. There's no stability because Jordy Nelson's gone. People are now questioning if Randall Cobb is a number one wide receiver. And you've got two running backs that are pretty good. He's and killing Lacey, my fantasy, too. Lacey and Starks, they're both averaging 45 yards. It ain't got nothing to do with the sweater that Dick is wearing. It's got everything to do with that offense. Now, listen, we're talking about two different things. I'm not saying that him wearing that sweater. I know. You know, is affecting the play on the field for the, for the Green Bay Packers. But it just felt so wrong. It, it was almost like... It, it, it was blasphemy for to people, see Mike Dicker. Mike Dicker is the Chicago Bears. When I saw that first time, the first time I saw that commercial, I was like, this is so wrong. You, so you haven't seen the Jerry Rice one? <laughs> yeah, I saw the Jerry okay, Rice okay, one, too. Right. Yeah. Um, we, I think, as a matter of fact, they did the commercials together. We talked about it a few years ago about current NBA players or NFL players wearing paraphernalia of a different team, right. how they shouldn't do it. Right. Why not? Why not? And at the end of the day, you're right. He's retired. Dicker is all about that money. What? And they probably gave him a huge number that he just couldn't walk away from. Yeah. Our agent, Norm Shrutt, used to say that. There's always a number. Uh, hit number five before we go, man. Number five, man, on 10 the Stewie, Tennessee Titan fan, a Rosemary Poor and Rhodey, a letter to the Charlotte Observer, voicing her displeasure with Cam Newton's touchdown pelvic thrust. Said he's a role model and it was unprofessional. Sir, do you agree or disagree with Miss Plorin? She said when her child started asking her questions, she redirected her thoughts and her eyes to the cheerleaders. <laughs> <laughs> they wasn't pelvic thrusting down there, lady? The cheerleaders wasn't pelvic thrusting? I hate this term because the young people use it too much, man. But that's just hate hey, no going here, on man. on Cam Newton right now, hey, man, man. She is a Titans fan. Who gives a damn how she feels about Cam? Sit your bookie down somewhere, man. Don't go to the game, dumb lady. Hey, uh, when we get back from the break, man, we'll continue with 10 to I wish you could see me right now. Guess what I'm doing? He's doing a lot of pelvic thrusts in the studio. pelvic thrusting. Oh, my back is killing me, too. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, don't go away. Keep it locked. The Ooh. two live stews on 640 WGST. Damn. <laughs> This is your folk, Doug Stewart. Want to protect you and your family from life's unexpected mishaps? Then join Seven. Join Seven is a prepaid legal company under the umbrella of the Protection Group. Join Seven is the only group benefit or motor club in the U.S. that offers auto reimbursement coverage, key replacement coverage, roadside assistance, gives you a current metaphil, prescription savings, and fully encompassed prepaid legal benefits that include identity theft. They got you back. The average combined cost to purchase these benefits individually is over $850 a year. Join today and take advantage of all seven for $17 a month. They've been around for over 20 years, so check them out by clicking on the banner link on my page, the Show.com, or the app. Just go ahead and join seven. The best of the Doug Stewart Show. Vegas, I believe, is the only state, or Nevada is the only state where they have legalized prostitution in these whorehouses. And they, they call them brothels. And it's not in the city limits of Vegas in that particular county. It's like the next county over. And I just heard all of this on the street. I just heard about this. But this is how it actually is. So, like, 
One county over, if you drive, and I think this story said it's like 70 miles where Lamar Odom was found, this next county over, they have legalized poorhouses. And the technical term is brothels. Yes, Tree. I mean, I'm going to say something that may surprise you. To be honest with you, like, they need to legalize it everywhere because... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, Aunt Esther. No. This is real talk here. Okay. The government has no business telling people where they can fling their cat, get their vitamin D. It's not up to the government to decide that. So while I wouldn't choose that as my lifestyle, shout out to Nevada for understanding that that's that woman's body. Yeah. And she can do what she wants with it. In, in theory, I 100% agree with you. And I didn't know we were going to start this uh, this social conversation on, on whores and, and whorehouses in America. But, uh, yeah, I agree with you, Tree. I'm telling you, just stop it, government, and legalize the kitty. Legalize the <laughs> Wait a minute. I think we got a new moniker now for the show. Legalize the kitty. Sports Talk. Straight, no chaser. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BB Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bbmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bbmobileapps.com, and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. We're doing some huge things here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network, home of the Doug Stewart Show, and the biggest thing being broadcasting other shows. That's right. We're executive producing other shows and playing them on my network. You may have a fantastic show or podcast, but do you have listeners? We got listeners, over 9,000 followers to the Doug Stewart Show on the Spreaker platform, as well as over 200,000 plus listens to the network itself. So here's what you do. Go to Fiverr.com, that's Fiverr.com, and search the Doug Stewart Show or Stewart Media and Entertainment and get all the details. Or just hit up the producer, Tree, at Tree at the Doug Stewart Show.com. That's spelled T-R-E-I, tree at the Doug Stewart Show.com, and come and do business with us on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yes! Welcome back to the Two Live Stews, 640 WGST. Yeah, yeah. Shouts out to Sully, Monday through Friday right here at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we're also on iHeartRadio, man. What up, Sully? We'll get the second half of these 10 the stew A with your boys, the two live stews. You think Sully will buy us a drink if we go out? Oh, yeah. Sully's a good guy. Sully's a great and guy. Speaking of buying us a drink, shout out to the good folks from 20 Grand. Uh, 20 Grand has a new flavor. It's 20 Grand Apple. And uh, for those of you that want to taste that 20 Grand Apple, Stop by the Two Live Stews tailgate tomorrow, right outside the gate C of the Georgia World Congress. Tonight. That's much more acceptable than a beer being infused <laughs> with apple flavor. I had a, I had a, tr- uh, a, a tirade yesterday on social media. I, I saw I this heard. commercial with Buzz but the, with the Budweiser apple. Yep. Now I'm for all for beer. I mean I love beer, <laughs> but the minute you add a sweet flavor to beer, it's not beer anymore. It's a wine cooler. I've been drinking cider beer for a few years now, and I like it a lot. Ah. Yeah, but, you know, in 2015, we got, you know, Young Thug, and we got Bruce Jenner, hey, and then we got you, apple-infused beer. You really, <laughs> a, you really got a problem with Young Thug, don't you? I mean, come on, man. Don't you got you. Young Thug, you got Rakim. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? No question about that. So, I don't know. I saw that commercial, man, and it really kind of repulsed what? me. I'm like, this is where we're at in 2015. Shout no shots out for Budweiser man. trying to get their money. I was about to say, man, the, the, the liquor companies are making so much money with the flavored alcohol that the beer companies have got to do it, too. And They're man, making too much money, man. If you ever see me in the bar drinking an apple-infused beer, just slap the taste yeah. out of my mouth. Well, shout out Please. Shouts out to 20 Grand, man, for uh, sponsoring the two Where have all the men gone? Every single uh, the, men, the men are disappearing, sir. Hey, uh, man, so some great basketball this past week. We were just talking during the break mm-hmm. about Steph Curry and the Golden right. State Warriors, man. We're going to get to a question, I think, on that here in a second as well. I didn't know Steve Nash was a part of the Golden State staff. Right. Um, that says a lot because we were just talking yeah, about this Yeah, I just comparison. talked about Steph Curry is basically like Steve Nash 4.0. So we've talked about loving the NBA League Pass so much, man. I got to mention this. Almost bigger than watching every game, any night on the NBA League Pass. You know what's just as big? What? Going to the app and pulling it up and clicking on a game and having instant stats yeah. right in your face. Right. Not only that, man, they condense the games as well after the fact. So you can watch a game in like 70% of the time. Right. Yeah, it's, it's great. It, so uh, shout out to the good folks from the NBA League Pass, man. If you don't have it, trust me, it's something that you want to invest in. If you're a basketball fan or you're a fantasy basketball player, the app would be incredible for you. Speaking of which, man, games exclusive to NBA League Pass this week. Your Knicks taking on the Houston Rockets, who uh, had some turmoil this week. Cleveland at Toronto. Indiana at Chicago as well. All on the NBA's League Pass. And you're listening to the two live studios on 640 WGST. Okay. Uh, so we got Tim the Stewart here. Uh, LeBron James moves to 19th all-time in scoring, passing to Jerry West. He's a long way away from number one, though. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, can he do it? If not, can you foresee anyone in the game today doing it? Um, Carl Malone is second, right behind Kareem. Played one year less than Kareem. Kobe Bryant is third. He's right behind Carl Malone. Those guys are done, though. Carl's well, yeah, been retired. Yeah. Kobe is done. Well, my point is this. I do not see it being broken because I don't think these younger guys that are now making 10 times the money that those other guys made will stick around for 20 years, and it's going to take 20 years yeah. at a minimum to get to it. Kareem played for 20 years. Right. LeBron is just finished his 11th, I believe. Right. He's got a long way to go. He's got a long way to go. He's got a long way to go, and he's not going to get it. But I think I did the math. He's got to win or play for like seven or eight more years and average like 25 points to catch Kareem, he's not going to do it's, it. And uh, it's going to be a guy that's going to be a post player if they want to get that, bring that record down. And you know what? I think whenever we talk about this subject, man, it, it, it kind of always dawns on me that I don't think we give enough credit to Kareem, man. Kareem was unstoppable was, for a long, yeah. long time. And you got to have help well, he was to before, have that longevity as well. He was before his time. There weren't other bigs in the game with Kareem that played like Kareem. With that skill set, right. yeah. So yeah. He, he was a man amongst boys. More of 10 the Stewie with the two live shoes on 640 WGST. Speaking of the Rockets, I uh, spoke about them a little bit earlier. The Rockets fired Kevin McHale. Clearly, he didn't forget how to coach, though, right? Nope. Who's the most to blame here? Is it him, James Harden, or Dwight Dwight? Uh, Dwight Howard. Howard, Howard. Um, I blame the owner, Leslie Alexander, and I blame the general manager, Daryl Morey, for getting rid of a Hall of Fame coach and player. I mean, the guy starts off 4-7 and seven. last year within the Western Conference Finals. He didn't forget how to coach. Yeah. So they're concerned that he's lost the team's ear. It's 12 games into the season. He ain't lost nothing. Yeah. They're losing a couple of games because of some bad play by the players. Yeah, I always talk about how I don't have a problem with you trying something different if you've had a coach and you, oh, you're you trying to achieve more success. But in this particular case, it's just it's bad. It's terrible. Not only should he have been able to help Dwight Howard in his offensive game, one of the best low post moves guy in the history of the NBA, but he's had success for the last couple of years. They won over 50 games. They went to the uh, Western Conference Finals last year. He's a very good coach. Who are you going to replace McKay? with, man. Yeah. What coach you going to place, replace McHale with? You know what the constant theme here, man, the constant variable in this equation is, man, is Dwight Howard. And I'm from Atlanta. Uh, or I live in Atlanta. Been here for 20 years. And I, I, I thought big things of Dwight Howard coming out, man. But Dwight Howard got Stan Van Gundy fired. He got Mike Brown fired in L.A. after about six or seven week, uh, games. And the same thing here, man. The same thing here. He is he is not optimizing what we thought the skill and the and the level of play and the athleticism that the good Lord blessed him with from now uh, from the very time that he stepped in is the it NBA. Is just me or am I being overly critical here? And he getting fat. Well, he's not the same guy. I think they say he still got he still has injury issues with that back, but he's not the guy we all thought he was going to be. I watched man. them play the other night on NBA on my NBA League Pass. 
and he's slumbering down the court. <laughs> <laughs> Lumbering. Oh, yeah, okay. I got you. It's the same damn thing. Right. You just put an S on it trying to be all fancy and use a big word. Pa, pa, pa. Um, it, 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 he's not the same player, man. He's not doing things the way that it should be done. Tony Romo is back for the Cowboys this week. Uh, they're 2-7, and seven, but actually they still got a, a shot to win the division. That's crazy. All the teams suck in this division, man. Who wins the NFC this year and why and who? And from the NFC East. If they remain healthy despite a terrible loss at home to the Miami Dolphins who are sucking this year, I'm going to say the Philadelphia Eagles will win the NFC East. you got DeMarco Murray and you've got Ryan Matthews, two very good backs. you got a defense that's better than the Giants and the Skins. You've got a favorable finish to the season. No long road trips. Two teams winning. Uh, uh, you got two teams with winning records left on the schedule. And three of four of the final games are at home for the Philadelphia Eagles. All of these things are telling me that they've got the easiest road to win that soft division right they now. They pretty much all have the same schedules. And I looked at the schedules. They all. It's a tad different. It's kind of mixed up. Yeah, you know, they, they're, they're playing the NFC South this year with the Falcons and the Saints and all those teams. If you just look at the talent, man, the best team is the New York Giants. I would say the best team is Dallas, but they, they are so far behind right now because of the record at 2-7. and seven. They're not going to win it. There's just no way possible. So I'm going to say the Giants, man, right now at 5-5 five and five leading the division, they, uh, they have the best talent. The Philadelphia Eagles, who you just talked about, they got issues at quarterback. Is it going to be Sanchez That's or true. is it going to be Bradford? That's true, and Bradford being out right now is, is a very problematic for my thoughts, but I still believe scheduling-wise the Eagles should be able to get it done. A little college football and NFL talk here, man. The Georgia, uh, Georgia hosts Georgia Southern, Tech on the road this weekend in Miami, and the Falcons host the Colts. Which Georgia-centric game intrigues you the most and why, sir? The Falcons... Versus the Colts, that's the game that's going to have my eyes this weekend, man. The Falcons have a crucial two-game losing streak going on right now, and they need to win at least one of the next two games to maintain control of what would be the wild card in the NFC this year. Uh, they've got a three-game road trip to start December, so they have to make sure they get one of these next two home games, and I think they'll find a way to do it. So Hankerson, Moore, Durant, and Alford are all expected to play. And, of course, when Willie Moe's on the field in the last two seasons, the Falcons are like 10-4. and four. Without him, there's two and, he's 2-9. and nine. Now that Willie Moe's back, I think they'll get back on the track. You're listening to the two last two. Sir, I'm looking forward, actually, to this Georgia and Georgia Southern game uh, because Georgia Southern has been a team that's been a giant killer, beating Florida a couple of years ago. You know how dominant but they, but they, they are but, with but, that option offense. But they're not playing the Giants, so it doesn't matter. Uh, that's another part of the equation. Yeah. And all of this looks and speaks to the whole conversation about Mark Rick and will he keep his job. This kind of sets up to be one of those big historic upsets. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, when we get back from the break, man, we will talk about four or the funky four. And we got one more question with Tim the Stewway as well. We'll try to squeeze that in as well. 404-522-7553 is a free initial consultation number that you can call to spend some time with Bruce Hagen to make sure that he's the guy to help you get done. What's that number one more time, sir? 404-522-7553. More of Tim the Stewway and the Funky Four coming up on the two live studios on 640 WGST. We're back. The two live studios are back on air every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. on WGST. It's sports talk with hot sauce. Special thanks to our sponsor, Bruce Hagen, at hagen-law.com for making it happen. 640 WGST in Atlanta. Search 640 WGST on iHeartRadio Worldwide. Yes! In life, things happen, good and bad. And being prepared is always important. If you're like me, a husband, a father, and protector of that family tree, then your family is the most important thing in the world. 95 million U.S. adults don't have protection in place. So what I've done is put my protection in the hands of the largest and number one independent financial services company in North America, and that's Primerica. They look out for middle America because they believe that offering the most competitive premiums only benefits the client and have been doing so since 1977. If you're a parent, husband, or wife and want to discuss options with one of Prime America's top reps, then call my guy, Greg Wynn, at 678-439-7172. Again, that's 678-439-7172, and he'll put your family first. And hey, tell them that Doug 
Stewart sent you. Yes. Do you have your own radio show? Are you an artist or a DJ? BB Mobile Apps is the solution for you. They specialize in creating mobile apps for entertainers. That's right. You can have your own mobile app where your followers can hear your shows or music, watch your videos, and view all your social networks in one place. You can even make money with banner ads and send push notifications directly to your audience to make sure they get your messages. Everyone has their phones on them, right? A mobile app will add credibility to your brand because your content will be accessible to them while they're on the go. BV Mobile Apps also makes apps for bloggers, actors, and producers. The process only takes about 20 minutes. Just go to bvmobileapps.com and click Get Started Now. That's bvmobileapps.com and tell them the Doug Stewart Show sent you. National Debt Relief is one of the country's largest and most reputable debt settlement companies. Made up of energetic individuals who are passionate about helping thousands of Americans with debt relief. Most importantly, we're all about helping our customers through a tough financial time in their lives with education and individual customer service. We're dedicated to helping individuals and families rid their lives of burdensome debt. Specializing in debt settlement, and they've also negotiated settlements for thousands of creditor and collection accounts. Providing clients with both expertise and proven results, this means helping customers in time of hardship to get out of debt with the least possible cost. It can also mean conducting financial consultations, educating the customer, and recommending the appropriate solution. Core Services offer debt settlement as an alternative, I repeat, alternative to bankruptcy, credit counseling, and debt consolidation. National Debt Relief is your number one advocate group to help you reestablish financial stability as quickly as possible. So give us a call at 844-828-4975. Again, that's 844 844- 828-4975 and work it out. Welcome back to the Two Live Stews, 640 WGST. Stupendous Saturday morning to you. Shout out to my man Coop on Periscope. He also said I should tell the folks about the uh, single team packages you can get with the NBA League Pass as well. Uh, great idea, Coop. You yeah. can also get single team packages with the NBA League Pass. There you go, Coop. You got it, dog. Yeah, give them a call at 1-800-XFINITY or log on to Xfinity.com backslash NBA. Boom. Thank you so much for joining your boys on the two live studios on 640 WGST as well as iHeartRadio as well. Uh, the Funky Four, we got to talk about the four biggest games in football coming up this weekend. Well, I agree with that. We probably should do that right now, sir. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start out with college, man. We mentioned uh, Georgia Tech taking on Miami. We already talked about Georgia and Georgia Southern. Uh, but let's start with college, man. What are two games outside of those Georgia-centric games you're looking most forward to? Number three and number nine, Ohio State, Michigan State going at it. Ohio State is still somewhat of an enigma, even though they've got a 23-game winning streak. It's like they're, they they can't be given any credit for the success they've had the last two years. So uh, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with that. And um, Michigan State, they've only lost one game. They lost that one game to Nebraska, I believe. But they're not getting any respect. I think they can beat Ohio State and upset them, and I'm watching that game big time. Um, one game I'm looking forward to, man, this weekend in college football is the LSU Tigers on the road taking on Ole Miss uh, for a couple of different storylines. One, man, Leonard Fournette has been shut down the last couple of weeks to running back for LSU. Uh, really, they're not even talking about him winning the Heisman anymore. They're talking more about Ezekiel Elliott as well as uh, Derrick Henry from Alabama. But, man, I still think this is the best running back in college football. His team has struggled, and I guess it's kind of like a team award as well. But I want to see if he can get things back cooking as well as, man, word on the street is Les Miles is on the hot seat. And if they go to Ole Miss and they lose, he might be out of a job. So we'll see what happens with that. They've lost their last two at LSU, so we'll see. He got a $15 million buyout this season, man. He ain't going nowhere. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and what else do you want? The guy's won championships. He's man, but, top but, of the but, class. But Les Miles is unstable, and you're exactly right. With the talent level they have down there at LSU, uh, they don't win as much as they should. Um, and not only that, he hasn't been able to uh, find a good quarterback. Doug. They expect to win championships down there at LSU, unlike we do here in Georgia. Doug. We're fine with 10 games. Um, talent is evenly distributed these days, and there will be no more five or six championship teams within a 10 to 15-year period. Alabama might win one this year. Uh, they could have won two more easily over the last year. couple of years. Yep. All right, the same team just lost to Mississippi State, or was it Ole Miss they lost to? Who did they lose to? Who did Alabama lose to? Okay. They're not unflawed, sir. Yeah, well, okay. all right, well, um, what about the NFL? Um, the Colts and the Falcons, man, I'm watching that game big time. 
The Colts are coming off of a huge Bronco win. Um, I think that Matt Hasselbeck being the quarterback because Andrew Luck is down could be a good thing because he's a polished player. He's a mature quarterback that's going to help them. And I just don't believe that the Falcons are the team that we are starting to believe they are from the start of the season. Well, I we think thought they, they were. They right. found a few ways to win a few big games, and I think that that is over with for this season right now. Man, I don't want to go that far. Yeah. I mean, I think the Falcons do a lot of great things offensively. They haven't done them in the last couple of weeks. The problem has always been, man, defensively, even though they had won all those games, you looked at their personnel on defense and said, man, they just don't have a lot, and it's coming back to bite them right now. But I'm not going to say they're – a bad team? You think they're a bad team? Uh, I didn't say they were a bad team, but they're not a team that's supposed to be winning 10 games this year. Wow. Wow. They're not. I mean, uh, people gave them seven, eight wins tops this season under Coach Quinn and his uh, his new regime. Speaking of uh, teams that are struggling in the NFL, man, I'm looking forward to the Green Bay Packers taking on the Minnesota Vikings uh, late game on Sunday. The Packers have been struggling over the last couple of weeks, man. Aaron Rodgers is not even in the conversation of a league MVP anymore. What's going on? Is it the Mike Ditka <laughs> curse or whatever? And on the flip side, man, Teddy Bridgewater, the quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings, has been playing solid. He's not playing like extraordinary or anything like that, but he's been playing solid, not turning over the ball. And Adrian Peterson is he, back. He's he's playing out of his mind. Yeah, yeah, he's looking fantastic out there, man. Right now, they are leading that NFC North division, 7-2 and two record, Green Bay 6-3. and three. If they can win this game, I'm talking about Minnesota, they can put a little bit more separation between them and an in-division arrival. So there you have it, the Funky Four with the two live stews. Can we get a little applause for that? House Union Organics offers programs for healthcare professionals who want to learn go. more about new field of cannabinoid medicine. Check them out at halcyonorganics.com. That's H-A-L-C-Y-O-N-O-R-G-A-N-I-C-S.com. Check them out, man, and, and check out their CBD oil while you're doing so. Stupendous Saturday to you, man. What you got planned for today? Um, dad, Daddy duty, man. Kids got soccer. And, uh, <laughs> what did I just say earlier? Daddy you daddy, got mad at me for yeah, saying that. Daddy duty, You man. like freaking Mr. Mom. Yeah, kids got soccer, man. And after that, man, I'm going to sit down and watch some college football and enjoy a few cold beers man yeah yeah sip on some 20 grand i'm sure a little bit later today um so yeah hopefully and i shouldn't even say that i shouldn't even say that my daughter has a little league football game today Mm -hmm. and i think today is the championship game what position does she play quarterback well she doesn't play she's a cheerleader man you know that you're trying to be funny well no you said she has a game but i think this is as a matter of fact i think this is the championship game okay Uh, and i take that back so after today man she's done she's going to be full born to track and feel uh after uh, today, and so I'm kind of excited because, uh, you know, we, we go out there all season long, and I think back about when we were growing up, man, we played Little League football from the age of seven, and you know, our are... parents never missed games or anything. That's tough, man. It's not easy to be a, a parent of a kid that's active in uh, youth activities. The Sissification of America also has the youth of America playing their sports, practicing only once or twice a week. That's true. We went out there Monday through Friday, Five days a week and played on Saturday. No, we had Fridays off. Monday right, through I was Thursday. About to say, I think we had Friday off. Monday through Thursday, yeah. Friday off, played on Saturday. The kids now practice once or twice a week. That's wow. It. Wow. That's it. Hey, one question we didn't even get to, and this is a good time to do it uh, in the in the ten the stew way. Um, I mentioned it at the top of the show. This week is our fraternity's birthday, 104 years. Shouts out to the Q's. Oh, there you go, Walter. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. One of the questions we had in there was, man, what's your fondest memory of being a brother of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated? Like, like I'm 25 years this year, so that makes you, what, 22 years? Yep, uh, 23. Yeah. There's a bunch of great memories, man, a bunch of them. But my favorite is probably, man, after I first crossed the burning sands of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, when I was able to see the folks that was a part of that situation. Mm-hmm. You were standing there with one of the livest freshers I've ever seen in my life. I still wear it to this day. Right. That's one of my fondest memories, man, having that frat shirt right there when I got done with the The, the minute you cross. The minute right, I crossed. Right, right, right. the first thing I saw. Yeah, yeah, that was good. That I was, was good. there, man. Was I'm really proud good. of you guys. You guys really did give it up for the Q side. Well, we did. I must say that. I mean, the captain um, still does. Don't get it twisted. And you, and you know what mine was, man? What's that? Well, I mean, I've had so many. There's so many. Part, There's part, so many. Of, part of the question was, there's been so many. You really can't think of any, but... In 1992, our national convention was here in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. and The best one ever. The best one, I mean, yep. that I've been to. Ever. That I can recall, and I've been to a lot. Yep. 
but on Peachtree Street. They just cleared out Peachtree Street, downtown ATL, right. for the queues. Right. The bras linked up, and there was probably a 200-man link mm-hmm. on Peachtree on stepping. Peach Street. Yeah. Yeah. And the police just let us be us, man. Be you. <laughs> that was one of the be most you. incredible things I've ever seen. Sir, on, another like, show. Fuck you, son. <laughs> another show is in <sighs> the books. Y'all make sure you enjoy yourself this Thanksgiving holiday, man. Be careful this weekend. Enjoy the holidays. And so wait a minute. Are man. we are we doing the show next Saturday? Uh, we need to clarify this. If I'm not mistaken. I think the $3 I make says yes. What? Yeah, man. All right. Well, we got we to gotta check on that. We're figuring it out. So if we, if we don't. Talk to you next Saturday, man. Y'all be careful this week for Thanksgiving as well. On the record, agree. we'll be talking to y'all Saturday. <laughs> You're pretty sure about that, huh? I'm almost positive, man. All right. All right, well, tune in to the Doug Stewart Show Monday through Friday. Actually, we're going to do it Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then when I'm off Thursday and Friday, all you got to do is go online, thedougstewartshow.com. Love God, love each other, and the Stews greatly appreciate you and your support. Peace. You're listening to the Steward Media and Entertainment Network, home of the number one sports talk show on the planet, The Doug Stewart Show. This is the revolution in radio, the realest, trillest sports talk show in America, The Doug Stewart Show. This is sports talk for the people. The Steward Media and Entertainment Network, real talk, real radio, real people, just like you. Yeah!